Here's a look at my results printing with Airy One Clear TPU. So I've had this sitting around for a little bit, finally getting around to uh, printing some Airy One Clear TPU. So something just uh, kind of different that I've um, been doing some TPU stuff and saw they had a, a clear and I just want to see what it looks like, what I might be able to use it for. So uh, like all this stuff, comes very well wound, tightly sealed, everything. I've never had any trouble with every one filaments. This is a size packet there, so there it is. Kind of comes with recommended temperature. A little lower than uh, some other TPUs, so I will do a temperature tower and see there. But uh, interested to see how clear comes out. I think it should be kind of fun. Transparent there. So um, obviously uh, really, really, really bendy. But, uh, looking forward to seeing what that will look like. All right, so here's some of my results with the Airy One Clear TPU. Started with the temperature tower, of course. And you can see at the uh, low and high temperatures, it starts to kind of kind of not work so well. I settled on 215. That's sort of my best choice there. Seemed to, to work fairly well. Uh, printed a few flow um, calibrations and starts to give you the effect here. You know, I wouldn't call it exactly clear, transparent, you're not gonna you know, read through it, but um, for a few layers there, you can uh, pretty well see through it. Um, I wish it wasn't real close to the bed. I didn't wanna um, squish it too hard and damage the PEI sheet. Um, you can see it is really flexible and thin and uh, durable, tends to bounce back there. Uh, I did end up pushing the flow a little higher than some other TPUs I had used to uh, get a good uh, wall thickness there. Did my uh, normal TPU retraction settings, did a test here and uh, pretty happy with it. Obviously bridging can be a challenge with TPU and I don't tend to really do it much so I don't really play with Tuning it more than that, a couple little hairs in here, but uh, you tend to see it in here a little more. But uh, I tried to adjust a little bit, didn't really find a whole lot better on here, and most of the prints I was doing didn't really seem to show any um, stringing or hairing, so I just kind of went with it. So, um, the Lego cube that I always do, you know, once you start making things solid, it's a little less squishy but a little bit of a little bit of give to it even uh, you know the old benchy here so uh tends to squeeze a little bit here and thought it thought it looked pretty good a couple little hairs in there that i could clean up but uh overall really happy you can see my infill in there a little bit so again not totally clear see-through but but definitely a cool crystal kind of, kind of look. Um, let's see. So, of course, I need to do a little squishy octopus. And kind of fun. Uh, did the uh, pencil grippy um, thing. So, um, printed pretty well there. Happy with that. Um, cable. Um, brace thing for a lightning cable to kind of uh, strain relief thing there. Printed a few zip ties here that uh, work really well. Very happy with those. That'd be really useful and a different kind of zip tie here. So 
Again, find them pretty, pretty sturdy and bendable there. I always do a filament swatch and the bridging sort of failed there a bit, but again, I really play too much with it. Print fairly slow. Um, again, I probably could have been a little closer to the bed to get a little um, better result there. But, uh, really, really happy with the bendiness, and I did decide to try to try to push it with the uh, TPU version of the Infinity Cube, and it actually worked through pretty well and, and squishy. I just didn't give enough uh, top layers here. And uh, so the bridging kind of takes a few layers to, to, to build up on there for it to um, work. So if I do it again, I'll have to give it a few more layers, but it uh, holds together really well for that. Um, and a little bit squishy. So that is uh, what I've done so far with the Airy One uh, Clear TPU. Again, uh, in in a layer or two, it's pretty uh, pretty see through. Once you start uh, throwing a few things in there, it tends to not be quite exactly um, see through here, but certainly um, translucent or whatever. And, worked really well without having to fiddle with with settings even though i got a few little hairs in the uh, retraction tower um, really didn't see anything on what i was printing so very very happy with that hope this is a useful look happy printing um.